Hi besties, thank you for joining me on this video. Slightly different from what I would normally do, but we're going to give it a go. See how we, it pans out, see how we get on. And it's a really good excuse to eat chocolate. So, I had these for my birthday. It is a quality chocolate maker called Martins who have made a chocolate to represent each of the planets in our solar system so what i'm thinking of doing is combining science and food and i'll try all the planets today and then after i'll do some shorts and perhaps have a few planetary facts added to the enjoyment of the chocolates so, they're in a cardboard outer box. On the back of this one, we have the description and the flavours, which are quite unusual. I really should be wearing my glasses to read the back, but they make me look like Timmy Mallet. So, I'm not 100% sure that I'm willing for the internet to see me looking like Timmy Mallet today. So I will have to squint and hold the box for me as far as humanly possible to read the content. So you'll also be a slight drop there. Right. Anyway, they then come in a plastic packaging inside. The planets do look amazing. I'm assuming they're in order and the sun is the centre so we'll start furthest away with Neptune so we'll pull out the planets this is Neptune so it's got a blue tint And Neptune's flavour is toffee caramel. It's the delay as I try and decipher the squiggles. Mm. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. Very sweet, which is perfect for me. I have a very sweet tooth. Really tasty as well. Um, getting the caramel. Um, the next one is Uranus. Uranus. Uranus is a raspberry ganache here we have a different coloured planet I'm sure the jokes are all there um, about the name which should have been called Georges Sank which I think would have been an absolutely gorgeous title uh, but no we went with Uranus and thus much humour followed um, so here we are Raspberry ganache. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the taste of Uranus. But would I call it raspberry? I'm not sure. Sorry. It's my poor eyesight and my um, ego for not wearing my Timmy Mallet glasses. Um, it's actually a blueberry ganache. So, moving swiftly on from Uranus, we now move to Saturn. 
which is a mocha cream. Ooh. Lovely. Beautiful brown truffle. Really tasty. Sweet. Nice solid truffle. Coffee backbite, which is lovely. A proper bitter coffee flavour. Not sweet and gooey, and certainly not very strong bitter dark chocolate. This is a nice milk chocolate and the solidness of the truffle means that you're not having that squishy coffee um, roses experience, Cabris roses, where the, the insides are just liquefied sugar. Not to my taste. Let me know what you think in the comments have i just uh, committed a faux pas by saying cabra's roses um fillings can be a bit squishy anyway on to the next one which is jupiter and it is a praline it's quite pretty Mm. Very good. I am sipping water to cleanse my palate. Um, not that my palate is that refined anyway, but the next one is Mars, the planet Mars, and it is a caramel salt. Salty caramel. We have a slight redness to our Mars. I think that's really pretty how they've done that. I don't know if you'll get a, a sharper view. But it really does look like a little planet. Mm. Who doesn't love a salted caramel? The salt is just right. That salty caramel lingers as well, which I absolutely love. But the chocolate flavour is still coming through. I prefer a much firmer truffle. And these are just right for me. So I'm really glad I bought myself. For my birthday, these chocolates available from Amazon. This now is the planet Earth, and it is a praline cream. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Our little planet about to be consumed. I'm sure there's a metaphor there somewhere. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Um, like a white chocolate vibe. Um, if you like your Milky Ways, so Milky Bars, or Milky Ways, they're quite sweet. You'll like that. So the next one is Venus, which is a peachy cream. Mm. This is the planet Venus. Famous for its 
use in certain rhymes, which we won't mention here. The planet Venus. I like it. Am I peeking at the peachy? Not particularly, but peaches are a very subtle fruit flavour anyway. They smell slightly peachy, which is nice. Um, if you remember the old um, white mice or the um, tools, used to ha get tools or fish and chips that were cut in into these shapes in white chocolate that's what it reminds me of back in the day when you go with your 10 pence to the local news agent and ask for a 10 pence mix and stand there forever while you chose 10 to 20 sweets for your 10 pence and the shopkeeper will be rather irate because there's probably like 15 customers behind whilst you're taking forever to choose between a blackjack or a um, flying saucer. So we have Mercury, which is somewhat unusual, is a chili cherry ganache. That's slightly odd. It's a beautiful colour. I'm not sure I've had chili chocolate. I know I've had chili licorice or licorice how we pronounce it. Um, I'm guessing it depends where you come from. It's called licorice, licorice, licorice. Anyway, this is a mercury and it is chilli and cherry. The taste is like a gritty cherry, a very slight chilli backbite right at the end, which isn't unpleasant, just really, really odd. Not what you're expecting when you've got a mouthful of sweet, gritty chocolate. The texture is strange, not what I was expecting at all. It smells like normal chocolate and still that lingering flavour is still there, that chilli backbite, very strange. Um, the cherry flavour is quite strong, uh, quite reminiscent of cherry drop sweets um, or cherry aid, that kind of almost artificial cherry flavour, but the chilli does not come through right to the end and still now I'm still getting that chilli backbite, which is really interesting. Something very different, a talking point. If you have friends, you could share them with your friends. As it is, it's just me here eating my planets. So the last one is the sun, which is a orange cream. Absolutely beautiful. Has, which you probably can't see on the camera. It's got a little grainy sugared. Something on the outside. Mm, I like that. Very sweet, which again, I like. It's probably the sweetest out of all of them. I'm not a good not a big fan of very sloppy orange creams but this because it's got the firmness of the truffle really works it's not as orangey as a terry's chocolate orange but there is a nice flavor to it 
not too artificial actually it's quite more of a natural orange flavor which is quite unusual i would personally prefer it without the sugary cover i absolutely cannot abide anything any sweets that have got sugar on the outside they really make my fear my face itch my teeth itch they are just dreadful so we won't be reviewing any sugary sweets here but there we go i would say that um these are absolutely lovely they'd be an ideal point of conversation for a dinner party they make a lovely gift for a friend this isn't an ad or anything i'm not sponsored by them um, this is an honest review and I'm absolutely delighted that I treated myself to these chocolates. Um, thank you for watching if you've got all the way to this point. Um, it is appreciated. Please leave uh, your thoughts in the comments and a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel. It would be very much appreciated more than you know. Um, so thank you ever so much.